Middle school parents, this video is for you. If you are, though, a 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th grader and you're watching this, great. Keep watching because I want to comment from you. I want to know what you think about what I'm sharing with parents. All right, parents, this is the big question. And I'm hearing it literally from every parent that I talked to. I was in Las Vegas last week talking to middle schools. Somewhere else a week before, everybody seems to be asking the same question. And the question is, what's with the attitude that I'm getting from my middle schooler? The eye rolling. The OMG, the can you just please get out of here kind of thing. It's not the same person that I knew sometimes just yesterday, let alone the week or the month before, right? I want my kid back is what they're saying. What's going on? Parents, there's two things really that are happening right now. Completely natural. It happens for everybody. We just don't remember because it, it was so long ago. But number one is, as we get into middle school, we naturally want to become more independent which means that we're trying to do things that separate us from our parents. So we kind of identify with who we are as individuals, completely natural, just happening. The other thing though, is that we become extremely self-aware, which means we suddenly realize that somebody else might be watching us, what we're wearing, who we're with. And it's that second one where that becomes a huge problem, right? And maybe you've already experienced this. You walked onto the school campus, whether it's back to school night or open house, what have you. And all of a sudden your child looks over at you and she's like, why are you here right now? You need to get out of here. And sometimes it's literally like that kind of a confrontation. So what are you going to do with that? What are you going to do with that? Number one, you need to have a conversation, right? It can't happen right there though, because that's completely embarrassing. You have to wait until you get home, right? So suck it up, wait till you get home, and then they'll have the follow-up conversation. And it's just a simple question. How can you and I, you say to your child, respect each other this year? Because I know that it's important that you're hanging out with your friends and you don't want to be seen with me. And that's all fine, right? But I want to make sure that you're treating me with kindness. You're treating me in a respectful way because, you know, that's what I need from our relationship. You're saying to your child, great, how can we do that? That's fine if you want me to drop you off around the corner. It's no problem. I'll walk behind you when we get out so that nobody really sees that we're actually together. We're related in any way. And then when we come home, you know, of course, it'll be back to usual. Right? So you say this, you kind of have to put the acknowledgement out there. I understand what's important to you, but at the same time, here's what I need from the relationship. Parents, have that one conversation. You're going to save yourself a ton of frustration in the years to come. Not just this year, but every other year afterwards. Until eventually that relationship is you're both adults and you've gotten past the whole thing. Right? But for now, this is a critical time and this is a really difficult, difficult conversation. But you have it and you move on. I want to know how this works out, though. And I want to know from you, the middle schoolers, too. Does this make any sense? Do you think that this is working? All right. Take care. Have a great end of your day.